Now, th this is a, a really interesting documentary that you've made. What's the thought process behind your involvement? Um, so, I did a documentary previously with the company ITN, and it was completely different. It was about sex and dating, and like if Tinder's ruined romance, and how you find love nowadays. Swipe mm. right for sex. Swipe right for sex, yeah. that one was called. And then they came back to me asking if I'd like to do another one. And I was like, yeah, of course, but I'd always had this idea to do a documentary on like how it affects children growing up if you've had a family member in jail or a parent in jail. And I kind of spoke to them about it, and they were like, yeah, amazing, but um, how do you connect to the story? And obviously, my dad has been in jail since I was about three and broke contact with him at 10, as you said. Mm. So I was like, yeah, I could kind of involve my story, but it, it's super personal. And obviously, for yeah. me, I've never really done anything so serious. It's always been, like, light-hearted presenting and mm -hmm. everything like that. And it was basically a mutual decision to do it as a journey for me, to meet other people that had been in similar situations and see how they dealt with it and then eventually decide whether or not I wanted to meet up with my own dad. And yeah. yeah. What age were you going to prison to visit him? Uh, my earliest memories, probably like around five-ish, I remember, but since he went in, we would visit him. And so what are those memories like? A bit weird. I had a super supportive, like, family around me. Even when he was gone, I had a stepdad and aunties on his side of the family that would always be involved and I never really felt like I was missing out on anything mm. but until you go to other people's houses and you realize like their dad's around the table and you're yeah. visiting him in a car it's a completely because different it vibe. became quite normal for you in a way yeah. it was like a day trip wasn't it you yeah. were so used to doing it because you'd get in the car you'd get your sweets and your blanket on and me yeah. and my little brother would be like oh a little road trip They're and then scary places to go mm. I've been in before filming and they're just the noise in the prison the smells the you know the dogs yeah I, I and I when I've been in them I've often thought what's this like for children that come in and visit yeah. Yeah. And what was it that what was that cut off point where you turned around and you made the brave decision to say actually I'm never going back there I can't do um, this anymore. I think it was more as I got a bit older and I it was like annoying I didn't want to go and visit you just started to have friends that you'd sleep over their house right. and you get a bit more mature and you realize actually you're a grown up and I'm a child I shouldn't have to keep visiting you in these places and it wasn't like it was one sentence that he had it was loads of little ones yeah. so he was going in and out and in and so out. So did you feel as a, through a child's eyes that it's if it's not one big long sentence so therefore or he can't come and see you. If he's constantly reoffending, it's almost like he's choosing to be there rather than with you. As, yeah. as a child, I can imagine that would be your mindset. Mm. Yeah, because you're just like, it's not really fair. I'm yeah. spending my weekends yeah. or weekdays going to visit you yeah. and you're just doing exactly the same mm. thing again and again yeah. and again. And you get kind of fed up. And so I was just like, no, I think it was one day he was out and at my yeah. grandparents' house and he knocked on the door to speak to me and I was just like, mm, I don't want to speak to you anymore. Like, you're doing bad things and it's, like, boring for me now and I just... I don't yeah. really know you anymore either mm. because I don't have any proper memories with you apart from sitting across the table. Yeah. And obviously, yeah. you, when you've... you've done the documentary and we'll show a little clip in just a second but you've been through that experience with other people yeah those were your childhood emotions and reactions to his situation what's your adult reaction to it now um I think a lot of it is kind of like I just want you to change now for the better like it's been a very long time you've been in and out you're fully grown man yeah. and like I'm an adult now and I feel like I didn't know you for my whole of my childhood now I could at least maybe potentially get to know you as an adult and maybe if you had a relationship with me that would give you more of a reason not to go back in yeah. because you've got like children yeah, that care about yeah. you and want to have time with you now but yeah 